Hey everyone, this is Kit of Hard Lens Media. We are here in the North Lawndale community in the city of Chicago. This is the Women of Power uh, community event to help uh, young children get back to school. And I'm joined here today with... Michelle Pfeiffer. And... Kia Giles. All right, fantastic. So, uh, starting with you, Kia. Uh, essentially, uh, what is happening here in the North Lawndale community and what is the crisis that a lot of people have to face here on an everyday basis? Well, when you th think about the statistics that it's 47% of male between the ages of 20 to 24 that's not in school and not working. Mm -hmm. And when you think about that, the minimum um, is 37% of the uh, people in Chicago, period, um, is not making uh, $12 or less. But you know that Chicago, the taxes and everything is going up. And we know that um, the underprivileged communities, we are the last to get things, then you'll understand why it's violence and stuff happening. And that's um, why, and it brings help, hopelessness to people. So that's why we're here to bring back hope because we don't, we don't want people to shut down just because of what's going on around them. They still can be powerful. So we're here to encourage the people. All right. And uh, Michelle, what are your thoughts, especially here in North Lawndale, especially with the um, situation that's really affecting the pe uh, people and community. Um, so one of the views that we have is um, because Women of Power, we're a resource center, and so we we're mobile. So we go wherever the need is. Okay, and so we felt that there was a need here, and again, we wanted to bring hope to this to this community. Um, one of the things that we kind of looked at is um, in these types of communities, there's not a lot of resources available, and so it's, it cripples people to um, do the things that they desire to. Do. They have a thought, but then it's hard for them to actually walk it out because of lack of knowledge. Right. And so we desire to bring the knowledge and the resources so, again, that they can be empowered and be who they want to be. We want them to dream again and not think, think that the dream is just what it is, a dream, but there's hope behind the dream and that they can accomplish those things that they dream about. Right. Now, uh, South Austin and the Pilsen community have to deal with the fact of gentrification and basically uh, large real estate uh, companies coming in and basically push, pushing out people of color, working class communities out. Uh, is that same thing happening here in North Lawndale? And uh, if so, uh, what are your concerns? Of course, um, the taxes going up. Um, it's um, the people that have been here for years, like the LED, they may own a house, but they can't pay the taxes. And then now they house is given away just for some little money because you can't really live off Social Security like you may could in the past. So it's all a, um, a strategy of, I don't, I'm not going to say who, but it's a strategy to get the black people out of uh, North Lawndale. Um, and then once they um, get us out, then they're going to brutify it again. And then they're going to have the next race come back in. But it's all, it's a cycle. It happened over and over again. Because there's a, a time when we actually was in the suburbs. And then we got pushed to the city. So it's like we're going back and forth. So that's the woman of power. We're trying to um, capture people before um, it get too crazy. Because we, if we empower in our mind, then people cannot um, trick us any longer. And your thoughts, Michelle? Um, my thoughts is the same way. Um, I, I, I totally agree with what Kia stated, that one time, you know, we were in a certain area and then we were moved to another area. But I believe sustainability is very important. And I think that people should be able to stay in a place and have a, you know, and be okay. There was a time that people stayed in their houses years and years and then they kind of, you know, gave the homes to their grandkids and kids and things like that. But that dream, again, has went away because people are just uprooting, right? And people need to have that again that sustainability to know who they are and where they are and where their background is and not try to adapt to all these different places so I believe again that what we're doing and um, again by us working even with our uh, um, uh, community leaders that we're going to be the voice for our community to, to say those things that are needed to bring about you know some programs some legislations and some changes in our community so again that we have that stability all right. And speaking of legislation and uh, at least having the government involved, uh, confidence in the city government as well as the state government is wavering here in Illinois. For example, we had the budgetary crisis uh, that Governor Bruce Rauner was going to continue pushing forward. And then there's Mayor Rahm Emanuel, who in the past has shut down a lot of public schools, especially in the low-income and working-class communities. Um, do you have any trust in either of those two administrations to effectively bring any kind of real change or even help out the people uh, of low income or minority uh, uh, neighborhoods? I, that's a definitely no. I don't have no trust. 
and neither one of the people that you said, right now, as people, we need to start um, unifying ourselves because we have the capability. We're the people that vote people in, and that's cool, but when we start working together, then we can make things happen. In a, in a black community, um, it was a time when we was living even worse, even in the slavery days, but we were so unified that we depended on each other, and that's how we at where we here today. So if we uprise, and in them times, I know that we can arise ourselves today. And um, Michelle, maybe she could talk more about um, the State of Black Male Conference that's coming up. And that's um, it's something that's empowering our, our black males um, to get up and let's, let's empower ourselves, because we can build our own community. It's, you know, it takes a village to build a community, and we the village. All right, Michelle, in regards to your th uh, thoughts on the two administrations of Governor Bruce Rauner and Mayor Emanuel, do you have confidence in them to really bring any kind of change here? And if so, what, what would that be, or do you not have any trust in them at all? Um, well, you know, when you say that, um, one of the things, my personal views, is I don't put trust in man. Right. I put trust in God. And I know that, you know, people may say, well, you know, that doesn't change my situation. But again, it does work because it changed my situation. And so it's how you look at the glass. You can look at it half full or you can look at it half empty. Right. So we can look at them. But when we can look at others who are actually doing things in the community, those that see the situations and they're right here in the midst and right uh, on the ground with what's going on and says, OK, we're going to make changes. And so we have partnered up with some community leaders that that's, that is not in those places, you know, with Raman or, you know, or, uh, or the governor uh, in agreement with that, but they know where we are and they're having a voice and they're able to bring that change. And so we're working with them, gathering the people. So again, that our voices can be heard and we can actually see the change. And that I have faith in because at the end of the day, I believe God holds the king heart in his hand. And so they can have an agenda and they can desire to do something one way, but they can wake up and have a whole nother perspective on how to do things. And that's just my faith. All right, and final question to both of you, and Michelle, I'll, I'll ask it to, uh, to you first. Um, what uh, future events are uh, coming, and it, uh, where can we find them on social media? Okay, so a couple of things that we're doing. Uh, Women of Power, um, we're actually in collaboration with uh, Congressman Danny Davis, and so we're working with him for the State of the African American Male. Um, that is dated for uh, September the 8th and the 9th at the UIC. Um, it is a free event. Everyone is welcome to be a part of that, um, and it's a Again, dealing towards our African-American male. Um, we believe that uh, the state that they're in, that they need to be empowered. They need to have some information, again, to change their their thinking when it comes to poverty, in order to change their education, right? Because we know that um, education, you know, not a lot have even a high school diploma. So we're bringing them together, and we're uh, 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 bringing them together so that we can uh, enlighten them, give them the resources and to change. And so Women of Power, we're actually going to be speaking to the women regarding that because we believe that women play a part of our men. And so we're going to be gathering the women as well and then giving information regarding poverty, regarding resources of uh, 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 prison. We're going to be dealing with our prison. We're going to be dealing with the um, education. And again, uh, once we believe that once we change that, then we'll see a change in our community. Okay. So again, and there's a lot of views out there. There's a lot of things that are going on that we say that, you know, it's a trick. It's a, a, a desire to pull our, our, our African-American men. But we're saying that enough is enough. And we've taken a stand and said we're going to bring change. We're going to support. We're supporting uh, our congressman in his 13 points when it comes to education, when it comes to prison, when it comes to poverty. Uh, we're going to support him. We're going to support him from a mother point. We're going to support him from a sister standpoint. We're supporting him from a daughter standpoint and even as a professional. And so our women will be together and in order to support our uh, African-American male. So again, that's going to be September 8th and 9th at the UIC. And you can actually find that at the State of the African-American Man on Facebook. State of the African-American Male on Facebook is where you can sign up and register. Again, it's a free event. Um, we will have uh, over 500 youth coming in on that day where we will be do dealing with technology. We have Microsoft coming in. We have Facebook coming in. So we have a lot of representatives that's going to be there. So again, we can empower our uh, youth, our uh, male generation. 
Um, the next thing that we have coming up is Women of Power. We're going to be having our black and white gala, and that's again a fundraiser um, where we can get the things that we need in order to continue to make the change in the community. Um, so we're going to have some silent auctions. It's going to be a formal dinner. Um, it's in Bensonville. It's dated September the uh, 30th. Um, again, you can find more information on womanofpowernfp.com, and that's where you can register and find more information. And uh, for you, just real quick, uh, what do you want to tell our viewers and subscribers about North Lawndale and uh, what hopes you have for this community? Well, I hope that after today it be a seed planted that um, we, are, we are powerful beyond measure, that regardless of what we see around us, we not our environment, we can be the key that open up doors and um, the stand that I make today is not only impacting me, but it's impacting the, the person that's um, depending on me, the next person. But um, what's coming up for me, I'm with Black Workers Matters also, and we're having our uh, West Side Workers Conference um, October the 7th. And also next year, June the 9th, I want the whole world, but particularly the Chicago land, to um, be a part of a peace day that I'm planning where we shutting down the whole Chicago and we just spreading love and peace. And I, it's, it's something that everybody in Chicago will come together because, you know, um, uh, united we stand and divided we fall. And that's what the devil been trying to divide everybody from race, gender, culture, and all that. So it's time for us to trick the devil and everybody has come together. So I hope everybody comes to this, um, be a part of this. It's, gonna, it's coming. All right, that's a good note to end it on. This is Kid of Hardlands Media. Peace, everyone.